All right, it's time for us to go get our feeder pigs for this year, so let's go. All right, we're here. We got a pretty nice place out here. Their pond looks really nice. All right, we're here uh, to get the feeder pigs. They got five kids out here. It's a beautiful place out here in the country. So we're gonna go see the, the pigs and maybe we get to pick some out today. Yeah, yeah. whatever you want. All right. So right here we have our mamas that are getting bread with two dads. How many mamas you got? Four. You got four? And you said you got two dads? Mm-hmm. Where are the piglets at? Right here. They're back there? So what one is that right there? The boar. That's a red. Red. That's a boar? Yep. So you got these paired up right now? Mm-hmm. Come on, big boy. <laughs> it's a little hard to get around. Yeah, he's a big boy. And the babies that have floppy ears on them babies, you know what that's his dad that's their dad because he has floppy ears. Oh. And the yeah. ones that don't have floppy ears are his dad. Yeah. I can see that she had her ears stand up a little bit more. Yeah. So here's the oh, fourth mom. That's the fourth mom right there. All her piglets. I see you got a little spot back there for them to go. Mm -hmm. Right? I, and we have a, a pan of feed to get them started. So this is the back side where all the piglets come in, huh? Yeah, that's the runt. That's the runt? Yeah, it was with um, from the other patch, but we, we moved it in here so we can get some more milk from the mom. Oh, yeah. And here are the pigs. Oh yeah, look at those piglets. So we, now we are weaning them and we castrate them. We cut their teeth and tails so the tails aren't too long. And we cut their teeth so when the babies are drinking them, it don't hurt the moms. You help with all that? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I can't yeah. say I've done any of that. <laughs> so normally we have this gate out here so, so they can run out there. We locked them out. Yeah, we locked them up so that, so because it, it, it was really muddy up there. Plus, it'll be easier to catch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here they are. And then this is where the baby pigs go when they get older, and the ones that we keep. So, how, you guys end up keeping some for yourselves? Yeah. These will be breeding gilts. These are yeah. new gilts. These are these were my 4-H pigs, and then we're keeping them to breed. Oh. So you just, you're increasing the size of your... Yep, I'll be up to six with uh, two sets of three that way. I'll separate them out by six weeks. They'll give me six weeks to wean, and then just keep cycling that way. Shoot for two, two and a half liters a year. And Avery got her little experience. Tell them about your little experience. <laughs> um, one of our gilts, she was really small, and never she was given birth to him. Actually, this litter, those two girls is litter. Um, she got one of her babies got stuck, and Dad couldn't get in there, so I had to pull them. Cause your, your hands are small enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all you guys are really involved with all these pigs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Is there any other animals you guys help out with? Yeah. We have chickens. Yeah. And we used, we used to have goats, but we, yeah. we, we, sold them. Sold them. we also have cows out there. I thought somewhere. I saw some, some steers or something. We have, what, seven or eight mama cows and yeah. cattle and some steers. So here's our trucking tractor. We made it homemade. We have our laying hens in there, drying up. 
And we also just move this every time that it gets, um, um, yeah. Then you yeah. drag it? Yeah. Yeah, you made that one all out of PVC, didn't you? So how come we had to put the boards on here, Negan? Because, um, cats try, cats try to get under the here. Oh, yeah, cats were get, trying to get in. Somebody's little kitties were trying to uh, tackle them. They get your, your kitties trying to get them. <laughs> Definitely light enough to move. No more. Whoa, it's good. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty cool seeing the kids involved with all the animals and, and doing all this stuff. I think we need to see more of that for sure. That's what we're, that's how we try to raise these kids. I mean, this whole world's just a mess anymore. And we do our own butchering, grow our own meat. Wife does the gardening. and. Try to teach these kids the stuff that get back to the roots. Teach you how to work, right? Yeah. Whether you like it or not. Earn your keep, right? If you want to eat. Yeah. What do we say? If you don't work, you don't eat. That's right. <laughs> That's good. You usually want to pick some out. Well, I saw there's a red one with some black spots on it. Oh, I found it right there. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Was it that one or is it like well, that one right back there? That, that light, there. that light orange one with well, I white like, spots. I like those too. Those are neat. We don't ever had any that look like that. Yeah, that one right there is Jojo. That red one right there in the middle. This one? Yep. We can grab five or six, and if we get the wrong one, we'll bring them back. Get him! Get him! Get him! Good job. That's so heavy. It was a big black one. You know, I think it's that one underneath of you, actually. You want black one? That's fine. We can have one of one. each color. Yep. That one? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the last one. Yep. <laughs> Did I take your JoJo? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Run, little peas. Run. Go outside, piggies. You can go outside now. Hey guys. All right, we're back with the feeder pigs. They're already exploring their new area. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start stringing a garden hose over here. We need to get their water filled up so these guys can drink. Uh, look like they've already had these pig waters before, so hopefully they'll take right to that and start to be able to drink. If not, we may end up putting a water bowl out for them. All right, gotta get this hose hooked up to the barrel. We would have had this done earlier, but we didn't have enough garden hose. I actually had to buy this hose today. On our way to get the pigs, we bought this hose. So we're just gonna zip tie this along the fence. 
Should be good. So I've still got some pig feed left over from last year. And it's like probably 16%, 18% protein. It's like a grower feed. It's made for bigger pigs. So I've got some soybean meal also. And soybean meal is very high in protein and that'll up the amount of protein in here. So now we just mix these two together. We should have something closer to about 24, 23% protein for these little pigs. They need higher protein when they're younger. So we'll mix it up for them until we get rid of this old feed. Hey pigs. All right, I think this is done filling up. I can't hear it anymore. Got water there, water there, and water here. Well, the piggies already found themselves a place in the shade. One of them's back there, you can hardly see him. He's under the stuff, under the brush. Well, the pigs haven't been here for a few minutes. They've already rooted up around this and they've already uncovered their first piece of trash in here, a little piece of pipe. They'll probably discover a lot more of this stuff before it's over with. So we've kept that hog feed in those 55 gallon drums since last year and it's still in good condition. Everything still looks good. And uh, those plastic drums work out really good for storing feed. I do like that this is big enough that I can actually get under here if I need to get in here with the pigs or get something. It's just tall enough that I can get in to this hog hooch. So I guess if they get cold, they can crawl into this. It'll work. This little pig right here, he's been the one that's stayed the closest to us. He doesn't seem to mind us too much. That's the one you picked out first. He's a little digging machine. Look at him. Or her. We think they're all girls. Go ahead and give him a little bit of water to play in. So I think we're gonna leave the feeder pigs alone for a little bit, just let them settle into their new home. But uh, I thought that was a pretty cool trip today, didn't you? Oh yeah, that family was awesome. Those kids were so adorable. Yeah, I think after we, you know, seeing the family and the kids all doing all the work together, the kids were so intelligent on all of the farm stuff. And they were mm -hmm. all doing it, they were doing it themselves. It was just, I thought that was such a, I don't know, I thought it was almost like a, inspiration in a way. I really wish that I would have, we would have done that with our kids. Yeah. Yeah. The, and the kids were really confident. We talked about it all the way home, like how amazing those kids were, how involved they were. Um, and of course, obviously it's because their parents were amazing and have taught them um, yeah, and everything. Yeah. Had them get out there and help with all that and do all that, take ownership over it. Uh, the, the girls were they were um, selling eggs. They were collecting all the eggs and washing them and going around to their neighbors and selling them. And uh, the boy was involved with all the pigs. I think the, everybody was involved with mm -hmm. everything, really, the chickens and the pigs. And I just, you know, we never moved out. We, we lived inside a, you know, a town with neighbors. It was a small town, not very many people. But, um, you know, we didn't have livestock and stuff like that in town. I really wish that we would have moved to the country earlier and, and been able to do that with our kids. And... And, uh, you know, by the time I think we decided to move out to the country, our kids were pretty much in high school, you know, by that time. So uh, they had pretty much, uh, there was no change in them at that point in time, I don't think anyway, mm -hmm. and uh, they wouldn't have wanted to move out of town. But uh, that's definitely yeah. the best way to raise your kids right there. Yeah, definitely. I thought that was uh, I thought that was pretty cool. It was great to see all those kids involved and out there and and they had a ton of stuff out there. They had they had they had steers and cows out there. They had pigs and chickens. Um, they had goats, I don't know if they still had goats, and they've had, they got rabbits and, you know, I mean, just tons of stuff going on out there. Mm -hmm. And all those kids help and do all the work, and it's a pretty cool place. Um, they have a really nice place out there. It's kind of hidden off the road, kind of like our place. They got, they got like a long driveway like us off the road, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a little hidden gym back there, their property. So. Yeah. 
So right now, let's go ahead and, and head inside and uh, the barn, head inside the barn. Let's see how the chicks are doing. We'll check out the turkeys as well real quick. We'll just do a quick update on all the livestock. So here's the five older turkeys right there. Our adult turkey, she sits like on a nest all day long. We can't her to, get her to really move around too much. But these, these guys, they've been out now for like, I think this is their sixth day out and they're roaming around a lot more. In fact, they're getting out in the pasture and roaming around and you can see them like finding bugs and stuff like that and just it's kind of like their first time being able to really go out in grass so these turkeys definitely starting to get comfortable and move around haven't had any fly out or anything we're able to chase them in side every night and so far that's going well so in here is our cornish cross meat chickens that we're raising this year this is our first batch and we've got 27 in here. They're all still alive. We just got them in the mail yesterday morning. So these were mail order chicks that we ordered from the Cackle Hatchery. That's, I think that's one of the closer hatcheries to us. And uh, they got here in two days. Everything has went perfectly. Way better than last year. So here in this chicken tractor is our younger turkeys. They've only been in here like a week. And they already look like they've grown like a couple inches. They look like they've got a lot bigger to me. But uh, they got plenty of shade in here. They got feed. They've got a water bucket and some water bowls. So they've got everything they need. The steers are growing. They're getting big. I still haven't completely um, tamed Oreo and Petey, but I'm still working on it. Fireball, of course, is always looking for our food. Um, he eats nonstop. I think he's our biggest one right now. Every single time we come out here, he's eating when the others are resting and he's always looking for food. So. And he, he likes you to pet him too. Oh yes, he does. He loves it. Don't you Fireball? <laughs> Don't you buddy? Yeah. So Fireball and Oreo look like they're both pretty big. Yeah. And uh, the one that's Petey back there with the black eye he is definitely a lot smaller than the other two. He's the, he's the, uh, what do you want to call it? Runt of the three. <laughs> the runt of the litter. He's definitely shy. He, he lets the other ones kind of push him out of the way. And, you know, so he, he doesn't quite get his fed as much as the other two. He's curious. He does come over to see what we're doing, but he doesn't really want to be touched. I've been able to touch Oreo, not Petey. You're yep. belching on camera. That's rude. But Petey definitely needs to gain some weight. He's a, he's a lot smaller than the other two. So we almost have all the animals this year that we're raising for meat. Um, we are also getting a second batch of Cornish Cross chickens. We ordered those from another hatchery. So they're gonna they're gonna come in a few more weeks. We ordered from two hatcheries just in case of the bird flu and, and we didn't we got an order canceled or something. So a total of 50 meat chickens is what we've ordered this year. We've got the three steers. We've got the three pigs this year. So we're, we're raising more pigs this year. We're raising more steers this year. We're raising more meat chickens this year. We've about, about raised everything, I think about 50% in there, somewhere in there. Chickens are about 100% increase, but definitely <laughs> raising more food this year. And uh, yeah, this is the easiest way, I think, to raise your food personally. I think raising animals, as long as you got the acreage to do it, I think raising animals is definitely way easier. You can get a bigger amount of food than you can probably all the work you do in your garden. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think that if you got the acreage, definitely raising animals is the way to go. I think that's it for today. We're melting, so we're going to go inside. It's very hot. <laughs> so thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Yeah. yeah, and also the way that you know if they're like old or something, and new, you just put them in water. If they float, that means they're old. If, they drink, if they're on the bottom of the water, that means they're good to eat. That's good you know that because my son just called me this week and he's almost 24 and he just asked me, how do I know if these eggs are still good? <laughs> <laughs>